here we are with plug-in plays um, I haven't been doing this for a while because I haven't really um, thought about it for a while I'm going to be going over a lot of the old software that I have but I'm going to jump straight in with um, an interesting plugin by Isotope called Ozone 9 Elements Essentially what this is, is a mastering plugin. Uh, this is the Elements version, not the full version, so it's um, obviously limited in comparison to the full version. Um, you've got, you know, essentially the bulk of it though. Um, the key feature about this being this Master Assistant, which basically is like an algorithm that goes through your audio and uh, gives you some sort of settings that it would assume would be uh, right for your audio track. Um, it's just a good little little um, initial setup for your audio for your mastering if you're not very good at mastering. Um, and what I what I'm going to do is obviously um, before I test it, I've got the same song here on two separate tracks um, and I've gone through and mastered um, a version really quickly using multiple plugins to achieve what I would have used to have done back in the day um, obviously this is a, a quick thing I've EQ'd put a solid bus compressor some passive EQ after the, after the compressor some gentle saturation uh, lastly with a limiter um, and obviously I'm analyzing everything with this multimeter which I'm going to switch off but um, I'll just let you hear this master initially and then we'll do uh, the ozone master using the assistant and just see what the algorithm is capable of straight off the bat What's in my mind? I lay on the first degree in your hands. I feel some kind of way with you. I can stand some things you do. Wonder why. So there's uh, the little master I did. I literally only spent. I mean, our mastering can be a long process, and it should be, but this literally I did in, a, you know, 20 minutes maybe, which is just you know, arguably not a very good way of compar comparing against the Ozone plugin. But you know, just for the sake of this test, I just did it quick. Anyway, now I'm going to go through this track. So I'm going to go through this track using the mastering assistant or master assistant. Um, I'm actually going to just do it on, see if it does it any differently between the quiet and the loud parts. So you just click that, choose what you're going to go for, I'm going to go with these initial basic settings, streaming, destination, medium, intensity. So now it waits for us to play, so I'm just going to hit play. Things you do Wonder why we've been through Our time And I 
Okay, you can hear it's extremely loud, a lot louder than the one I was producing, but you can see here that it's uh, starting to, you know, affect it greatly in the uh, loud sections. So I'm actually going to redo the analyzer, uh, the assistant, from this loud section, which is probably what you should do anyway. You should master from the loudest section. There we go, that sounds a lot a lot better. We can see that it's it's altered the threshold. You could kind of see it reacting to the to the uh the levels. And uh this is a lot less harsh now. You can see that just before the peaks it's it's making its changes and allowing it to climb back up efficiently. Um the imager seems to be not not being activated. I assume it's just not really necessary at this stage according to the algorithm when we look at the EQ it's just um, it's kind of done what I would normally do and that's just giving it a nice um, it's just tailed off the low end the sub frequencies which we don't really hear anyway so it's cleaning up a lot um, of room for loudness and then it's just giving it a boost between 10 and 20 and uh, just yeah I mean it's not really done much which could be a suggestion that it's a pretty good mix um, you know that can be uh, debated forever so yeah this is I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to do a quick switch between the two and um, see see how how much louder this is, is allowed us to get so first we'll go with the one I did Okay, so I can hear a. As far as loudness, I can't really hear a huge difference, but I'd say that there's a definite difference in perceived loudness. The, it must be to do with the saturation I've added, which keep allows mine to keep up with the other one, but the, but the uh, with ozone, but ozone is definitely, um, you know, doing pretty good, seeing as it was a single click, and it's just going for it. So I'm just going to try a, a quieter sections, my one first. Don't understand what's in my mind. I lay on the first degree in your hands. I feel some kind of way with you. I can stand some things you do. Um, I'd say I'd say they're pretty close, to be honest. Um, the the difference being that this ozone uh, has created a little bit more transparency um, than my, than my one. Uh, maybe to do with how the plug-in EQs, um, uh, things like that. Uh, the maximizer. Is obviously finding that perfect loudest level, ideal for loudest level. Um, yeah, I mean overall, I think this is a it's a pretty good considering that it would take me. You know, well, even though that only took me twenty odd minutes to do this one, this was 
you know, as far as time saving, you can't really beat the Ozone plugin. And, um, yeah, I mean, I totally say it's worth getting um, 100%. So there you go, there's there's a quick look at the the Master Assistant section. Um, and as far as the individual elements goes, you can start messing around with these and, you know, change, add in your little changes and change the Q factor. Um, you can, the good thing is also you can solo these. Which would be pretty cool for sound design elements, you know, I can kind of see in a video game, maybe if this song was in a video game, you could, you know, if, if someone's listening to it on their headphones in the background. You know, you, you, I could even use it for that personally. Um, the imager, we'll just have a little listen to see where's it. I mean that's that's obviously quite destructive, but um, you know maybe maybe some mixes require that if you sort of mixed with just mono in mind, then maybe it would be quite um, good to mess around with that as well. But for now, that's the Ozone Nine Elements plugin. Inside. 